Oh my God, a spirit from heaven made me do it. I'll explain in a minute. Hey everyone, Raji Narayan Singh here, transgender activist, author, and actress. Yesterday was an absolutely beautiful day. June 17, 2017. Beautiful. Well, it was a busy day for me because I attended a transgender town hall meeting. Started at 10 a.m. in the morning and it went until a little after 2. I actually didn't get out there until about 2.45. And um, yesterday was also the Stonewall, Wilton Manor Stonewall LGBTQ Pride Parade and Festival. I had actually been invited to be on one of the floats, but I decided to kind of sit that one out because I figured I'd be tired or a little tired after the transgender town hall meeting. But I said, oh, I'd, I'd definitely go out to the um, parade and festival for a little bit. But when I got out of the town hall, I was like, oh my God, I'm tired. And like, I was like, you know, I'm going to go home. I think I'm just going to sit everything out this year. And um, I got in my car and I started to ride towards home. But I was feeling this pull, like, you know, you really should go out there. And I was like, but no, I'm tired. I want to go home. I could just picture like a nice bath and me relaxing here at home. But this pull, it was so strong. Like, no, you know, go, go. And all of a sudden, my car did a U-turn. I did the U-turn, but it felt like actually someone had actually taken the wheel and did it for me because it happened so fast. And so anyway, now I'm driving back towards Wilton Manors and the parade and festival. I park and literally I sit in my car for like 15 minutes going back and forth. Oh, should I go? Should I not go? Oh, I'm going home. No, I should go out there. Back and forth, back and forth, indecisive, can't decide. And I, at one point I even started to back my car up out of the parking space to drive home. And again, this pull, something stopping me from going home. And then all of a sudden it was like, you know what, bitch, get out the car and go, even if you go for an hour, you know. So I grabbed my purse, I jumped out the car, and I walk over to Wilton Drive where the parade and festival was going on. I was actually towards the end part of it. But I said, you know what, I'm not going to walk down Wilton Drive. I'm just going to kind of stay in this vicinity, not too far from where I parked. And, I've, oh, my God. My beautiful LGBTQ family represented. Uh, I tell you, those pride events are just so wonderful because it really does give us an opportunity as LGBTQ people to connect with each other and feel the unity and feel the fact that we are family. Other times during the year, you know, not so much because, you know, all of us are doing our own thing. We're kind of in our own zone. The gays are doing their thing. The lesbians, the bisexuals, we trans people. So that's a day where you really uh, can come together as a community and really feel the unity. Um, of course, I met some wonderful supporters out there, people that recognized me, did a lot of selfies, um, just, you know, connecting with some really awesome people. And I always feel so blessed when that happens, uh, you know, to connect with all the love that people give me, that, that they show me. It's just wonderful. In the middle of one of my connections, it was a supporter that recognized me. I was talking to them and we had did a selfie. Out of the corner of my eye, I see another little group of people kind of waiting off to the side uh, like they wanted to say hello to me. Well, okay, I got to give a little backstory before I tell you who these people were. A year ago, Stonewall, Wilton Manor, Stonewall, LGBTQ Pride, Parade and Festival. I was on a float last year. A fabulous time. Oh, my God. You know, waving to all the people. And um, after the parade, I even, like, walked through the whole drive. And, you know, connecting with all the different uh, wonderful people and supporters out there. I must have taken about 
75 selfies. I mean, literally, every few steps I took, people, someone was stopping me for it to take a picture with me. Uh, but there was a guy that was actually eating at a um, little cafe, uh, cafeteria, a little uh, cafe out there with his cousin and I think um, his partner and uh, some friends. And he recognized me, so he ran over to say hello. And, you know, we were connecting. He told me that he was uh, visiting from Trinidad. I was like, oh, Trinidad. I said my father was Trinidadian. And then we started to talk about Trinidad a little bit. And he was saying how, like, you know, he was so inspired by my story and I really touched his, you know, him and, and inspired him. And, you know, anyone that I connect with, I always give them my little comp card with my picture. <laughs> Let me tell you, I, don't worry, I behave myself when it comes to the pictures. They're sexy, but not, you know, X-rated or anything. And, um, and then my, you know, contact information, my social media and all of that. Uh, so I gave him a card, and um, he actually gave me his card. And so he said, you know, that we would connect. Now, I tell you, anyone that I connect with, I feel, you know, some sort of connection. But there's just some people that I, that I meet that you just feel like there's a deeper soul thing going on there. And he was one of those people. So fast forward to a few days later, I get an email from him. And that was the beginning of us, like, emailing each other back and forth every now and then. And then I get a message from his cousin on Facebook, in my inbox on Facebook, that he had passed away in an automobile accident. Let me tell you now. I was so in shock. I couldn't believe it. I was almost in denial. Now, not that his cousin would make up something like that, but do you know I actually emailed him hoping that he would email me back? And, of course, he didn't because it was true. He had passed away. I'm going to tell you, after that happened, it really affirmed for me the power of a moment in time. Arnal Charles was his name. A phenomenal human being. I mean, his spirit, I could just feel it when we met. And although our interaction was brief and just a moment in time, it was so powerful. And it now I know it is eternal. I will never forget Arnal Charles. I'll never forget him. And even though we only had that brief encounter, it was so profound. And I think it's a testament to all of us that, you know, we only have now. Yesterday is gone and tomorrow hasn't come and we only have the eternal now and how powerful the now can be. You don't know that little something you do for someone, how that may touch someone. Arnal told me how much I had touched his life and inspired him. I don't think he realizes how much he touched me. Well, maybe he knows now. But I know anyone that's watching this video can think of a moment in their life where someone did something and they probably didn't realize how much it meant to you and how much you were inspired by it and vice versa. Things that you've done for people that down the road they told you, you know, that day you did this or that day you said this to me, you really touched my life and you may have even forgotten about it. And didn't realize how powerful that moment was. Fast forward again to yesterday. Those people that were waiting for me. It was Arnal's cousin. It was a friend of the co her, uh, 
a friend of Ronald's cousin, and then it was his partner of eight years. Because I asked how long they had been together, and he told me eight years. And for LGBTQ people, let me tell you, eight years oftentimes could be a really long time. That's a whole nother video. But, <laughs> but I was like, wow. And I thought to myself, I said, yeah, you know, he was only in my life for a very, very short time. The encounter was brief. Our physical encounter was a matter of minutes. And then we had a, a, a few months of emailing each other. But like how he touched my life. So I can't even imagine what his partner and his family and his friends that he's had like for many years, what, what they're all going through, the feeling of loss. But as we were connecting in that moment, I, it was like I could feel Ernal right there with us. I could feel his spirit. And, you know, I looked at all of them and I said, you know, I was going to go home, <laughs> but I came and it was like this pull. And I said, you know, I almost feel like Arnal made me come. Like he pulled me here so that you and I, we all could connect and, and, and have this moment with each other. You know, people could chalk these things up to coincidence. Uh, you know, oh, it's a coincidence, but no. I mean, I was so hell bent on going home. Then I go there and I park and 15 minutes I'm in my car. Should I go? Should I not go? Should I go? Should I not go? Then I go to the end of where the parade was and I'm like, oh, I'm not going to walk down the drive. I'm just going to kind of stay in this vicinity. Thousands of people out there. What were the chances that we were going to really bump into each other? That moment was divinely synchronized. That moment was divinely orchestrated. It wasn't a coincidence. I looked at all of them and I said, you know what? I said, Ernal lives on in all of us here. I said, Ernal may be gone physically, but his spirit is here right now. Miracles happen. Miracles happen every day. And you know, yesterday was just another experience, encounter that affirmed for me that this life that we're living, these bodies that we're in, our own individualized circumstances. We are so much more than that. We are so much more than that. <sighs> or now, I tell you, I know you, I know you had a lot to do with what happened. I'm so thankful to God because even though I know you know, that our existence here on the planet is so much more and that, you know, we transcend beyond these bodies. When I have experiences like this, it is just <sighs> affirming for me. You know, it's definitely assuring me that, you know, yes, it is true. It is true. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for these moments like yesterday with Arnal's cousin and, and her friend and Arnal's partner. Miracles happen, people, every day. Look around and see the miracles in your life. Arnal. Ernal Charles, I will never forget you. You, I tell you, you will always be here with me in my spirit. Thank you. And to all of you out there, to Ernal's family and friends, and to Ernal's partner, I know that 
you truly feel a loss because he isn't physically here anymore. But believe me, Arnal Charles, he lives on. His spirit is strong and he lives on. Love, peace, and blessings to anyone who's watching this video. Bye, guys.